Matthew, there's something su a surprising fact We're which speaking you... English? Yes, of course. Yeah, speaking English. So there's a surprising fact which is that uh, the probably for you in London the Brexit uh, has caused no damage to the art market. Surprisingly not, yes. Um, obviously Brexit is not something that the art market and personally we can acknowledge and we can uh, we can uh, we can accept. I think it's a terrible thing for uh, for the country, but it just changed the situation of UK and of the art market in the UK a bit, but just transformed it. Some people left, some collectors left, uh, left London, some others arrived. Some collectors, we, uh, we could witness uh, the arrival of several people from America, for whom leaving New York to live in gated community in Florida or in the Hampton was not a possibility and who had serious uh, link with Europe and for whom London was an evidence. We also witnessed the arrival of several uh, people and family who were living in Asia and for whom the pandemic uh, has been um, extremely painful uh, in their travel and in their daily life. So London is still the most international city in Europe and Brexit of or not, it's a fact and it will not change. So the city still attracts a lot, a lot of, of, uh, of people around the world. So it means the business is good? Business has been good. I mean, like after every big and intense period in the world, uh, the comeback to reality is always euphoric, is always happy. People are happy to go back to cinema, to theatre, to museum. And what about but the fair? Obviously, are happy to come back to the fair, are happy to come back to the gallery. So you expect can, a good fair, can, right? Witness, witness that. We expect a very good fair. America opened their border to Europe, Americans are in Europe, we saw that during Fashion Week in Paris, we saw that a bit in Basel, it was a premise, but London or Paris will have much more uh, American tourists than uh, I'm sure we were expected a few months ago. Merci.